Hello and welcome to the Sport Plan Animator tutorial series. My name is Josh and I'm going to be giving you a general guide of how to use the Sport Plan Animator. This week's video will be looking at navigating our way around the animator as well as placing and positioning of the icons. Highlighted in red on the left hand side of your screen are the various player icons with the second box highlighting the equipment that can be used. You can find the media controls in the blue box at the bottom of your screen and the currently empty property bar on the right hand side. Finally, you can see the control bar at the top of your screen. Using this control bar, you can change the orientation from horizontal to vertical and vertical to horizontal. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a vertical orientation. I'm looking to create my animation around the box, so we want to get a little closer to the pitch. This is where I can use the zoom feature to select the perfect view for my animation. That seems about right. Now it's time to pick a player. Moving into our player box, I click on the blue player icon, which becomes highlighted, and simply click again in the desired position. Actually, I think I'll use the red player instead of blue. Using the undo and redo buttons in the control bar, I can remove or repeat the last action that occurred. Then, I simply select the red player icon and click again in the desired location. I am then free to move my player around by clicking and holding my mouse over the player, releasing the button when I'm happy with its current position. You can change the direction in which your player looks by using the angle slider in the properties box. And it's that simple. We can now place icons and change the direction that they face. I'll quickly put together a set piece that we can use for the rest of the tutorial. Nearly there now, let's add in one more player at the end of the wall and use the angle slider to have him look towards the ball. However, I feel we have too many players standing over the ball. Let's see how we can delete an icon. Click the player you no longer want and find the delete button in the wheel. Simply click this and the player disappears. We've covered a lot in today's tutorial but we have one more very important thing to do, and that's save the animation. Click the save button in the control bar at the top of the page, and the animation will be ready to work on in the next tutorial. This brings about the end of the first tutorial of the series. Keep a lookout for part two, in which I demonstrate the variety of ways in which you can move a player, and how to use the media controls to play back your animations.